Yo guys, so what is up? It's your boy Alec Luetta, and they call me Alo, and yeah guys, I'm a college athlete that plays baseball, pretty much like to give you the life of a college athlete, and yeah, so if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, we are on the road to 10,000, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a massive equipment cleaning for you guys, baseball equipment as of you guys that do not know, we have guards up in here, we have batting gloves that we're doing, we have gloves, cleats and bats so the stuff i like to clean with is water cleaner washer and using glove conditioner and yeah all this equipment right here that i have for my gloves and other things but yeah guys we're going to be doing a massive equipment cleaning for you guys because i know you guys will love that because sometimes you just like to look fresh on and off the field and just keep your equipment in good condition this is what i like to do so it can last longer if you like this video make sure to put a thumbs up on this subscribe so you can stay tuned for the newer videos we got me playing college games and everything i'm gonna be showing you guys everything this year so stay tuned and yeah guys let's get into this video oh guys for the gloves that i'm gonna be doing like the fielding gloves and all that i actually made a video on these on how to clean your gloves so if you want to watch that i'm not gonna be showing the full process in this video but if you want to go watch the full process go up right here on this link right here and it'll take you to on how to clean your gloves the full process and it'll show everything in this video we're just gonna be showing a before and after of these items and yeah i'm just telling you guys what i'm using same with the cleats over here i just made a video on those on how to clean your cleats so these cleats are very clean but these are not actually used them in our world series that we just had going on so they were clean for the world series but then they also got dirty again as you can tell so i'll be showing the before and after and how to clean those but like the process on all that you can find it in this link right here those are two different videos one for filled in gloves and then one for cleats same with these hats right here guys i made a video on how to clean your baseball caps or any other types of hats and you can also find it in the link right here because that'll explain the full process of how to clean your hats i actually don't have hats to clean right now because those are all clean uh, i do have a cleat to clean and i do have two gloves to clean that one's clean over there the one that's for the youtube channel as you can tell the alo game up in there and then the batting gloves that i'm cleaning are actually only this pair right here because these are the only ones I've been practicing with. I forgot to record these because I was using these in the World Series, but I actually cleaned them beforehand off camera. And then same with these, I clean these off camera as well. These are actually garden gloves. So as you guys that do not know me, I like to use garden gloves most of the time. And then with the guards, I'm cleaning all of them. You got some specs that need to be cleaned and then for sure like the insides of these that I need to clean. But yeah, especially that white one. I got the pro hitter that I'm cleaning. I have the bats that I'm cleaning. And if you have yet to watch a video of the full process on how to clean your bats, the link will be up here, but we'll also show a before and after on how to clean your bats. But with all this equipment, if you want to find the processes of all of them with the full equipment, I'll show the links in the description and I'll also have them right there to go back on in the videos. But as of right now, we are going to be showing the before and afters of the equipment that we're going to be cleaning. But for now, we're going to start off with these two gloves right here, the 44 Pro gloves. And as you can tell, they are very, very dirty. Yeah, I've been using these a lot this whole fall season. The blonde is actually very dark right now. You got the white embroideries that are brown now, but I can clean those again to make them spotless. And then the palms and all that need to be conditioned and the outside of the gloves also need to be conditioned, especially the color glove right here. And yeah, so we're gonna be getting into these two gloves. We're gonna start off, this is the before, and then we're gonna move on towards the next equipment. So as you know, the process has to dry a little bit after the first steps. And yeah guys, so this is the after cleaning it, and then once it dries up a little bit, I'm gonna start conditioning it after it dries up fully. And yeah guys, there it is, cleaned and it looks very nice. The next items that we're gonna be doing now is this cleat right here. We're gonna be cleaning it all right now. Here goes the before, as you can tell, it's dirty again. And yeah, there goes the before, and let's show the after. All right, so the cleats are finished, and all they gotta do is dry up. There goes the final product. It looks freaking great, guys. So if y'all wanna learn how to clean your cleats, make sure to go click on that link right here and you'll find out that way guys all right guys so now we are on to the batting gloves right here since these are white i'm going to be using stain cleaner and we're also going to be using water and a brush y'all haven't seen me clean batting gloves before 
But right now I'm going to show you before and after. I can make the, the full video on how to clean this in the process later. But that's what I'm going to do. So here goes the before on how they look. See how it's very dirty guys. Now they're going to be clean. Yeah, so this is the after product of the Marucci gloves. And yeah guys, they look freaking amazing now. All white again. So if you want to know how to do it, make sure to comment down below. Let me know if you want the full process of this. I'll let you know how and just clean it all for you guys in a full video. So yep, yeah, there go the there they are, the Marucci batting gloves that are clean. Next up is this pro hitter that we're cleaning. Should be very easy, not too much. So yeah, I'm gonna clean it now. And voila, the pro hitter is clean again. Next up we have all these three guards right here. We're gonna get these clean real quick. So here goes the before. Uh, this white one's a little bit dirty, and you got the insides, of course, that are dirty on these, and maybe a little bit of specks on the other guys, but that should be it. A little bit before. Got the white one clean, all brightened up. Looks very, very good. Let me know down in the description if I should make a full process on how to clean your white gear, like such as leg guards and all that. But, yep, looking very slick, nice and neat. I'm ready to play in. So both Under Armour guards are clean, as you can tell, all nice and spiffy, guards are done. Now, last but not least, we move on towards the bats. I need to clean them all, so we'll just give you a preview of all of them right now. As you can tell, all the barrels are a little bit head on, and we're gonna clean all of it, guys, all the way down to right there. So, before, now let's get to the after. So finally the bats are clean and fresh. So guys remember with all this equipment, if y'all want to see the full process, comment down below or I'll put the links to some of the videos that are already up. And all I got left is like cleaning the guards and the batting gloves that I have to do to make a full process video. But that does it for the video. This is all the clean equipment that I just cleaned. The batting gloves to me turned out the best. And then you got the gloves just conditioned. And then the cleats that are all fresh and clean. The bats and that does it. You got the cleaners that I did with the conditioner, the leather conditioner right there and right there. Then you also got the cleaner right there. And then the brushes that I use for almost all the equipment is right here. I used water, a rag, a towel, and then that stainer that I was using. And yeah guys, look at the products all fresh and clean all ready to go to use for this upcoming season i'm probably going to clean them again because i'm still practicing on my own and i'm still going to be using them so yeah that does it if you enjoyed this video make sure to put a thumbs up comment down below what y'all think and how do you guys clean all your equipment let me know down in the comments for the bats I use nail polish and I just used a rag. So I pour the nail polish onto the rag and then I just start scrubbing all those marks. That's why they are all gone now and they look all fresh and new. I am going to start changing those batting tapes because they are starting to get worn down, especially the Posey 28 Pro Metal. Probably not the String King and the Cat Ape because those are much newer. But the Posey 28 is definitely going to need a new bat tape. It lasted three years now, so I'm definitely going to take it off now. And yeah, it's starting to like hurt my fingers. But yeah, I'm going to change that, get the equipment ready up for next year. And yeah, guys, that does it. If you enjoyed it again, comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. We got me doing a day in the life for a college athlete that plays baseball. And yeah, guys, that does it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.